what's going on guys it's me KLV and today I'm going to show you this insane mirage build because it is just ridiculous you gain damage you have damage reduction and you also have overguard like you have one really tanky and really hard to die and two do an insane amount of damage but I'm going against level 5000 enemies and just walking through them now I would have stayed longer but it was like 2 in the morning I wanted to go to level cap but it was like 2 3 in the morning and I'm like I need to get some sleep but otherwise I would have gone to level cap because I know it was still been an absolute breeze let's get straight to it so Mirage she basically creates an entourage of doppelgangers to confuse and distract the enemy this also increases your damage because when you are shooting all of the holograms are also shooting and yeah they also do damage uh, the second ability sleight of hand we're not really using this is basically we have negative range it's kind of pointless me going through it because we are not going to be touching this ability next is eclipse so eclipse also had a rework i don't know when it was because i've only recently just came back to the game but eclipse basically has been changed where you don't have to be in the light form you don't have to be in the dark form you just have to tap and hold it yeah as before you had to go into the light you had to go into the dark areas of the map to get each buff but now you just have to tap and hold so we're just going to be always having that damage increase was a 320 percent damage increase we don't have to have the damage reduction because we have no star that also that basically gives us our damage reduction what is capped at 75 percent so we're not getting 90 percent but we're getting 75 percent damage reduction what is enough for this build so let's get to the mirage build so we have corrosive projection just for minus 18 percent armor because who wants armor we have narrow minded for ability duration and we don't need range so we can have this maxed out prime continuity more ability duration streamline so everything is cheaper prime flow so we have more energy amars hatred so we have 15 percent extra ability strength uh, umbral intensify and umbral vitality for health and mobility strength and just get the little bonus by using double you probably don't have to use umbral vitality to be honest um i've just only put it on for the extra like little bonus that it gives for using two umbral mods but you probably don't really need to use it because you don't really dip into your health a lot because you have a lot of overguard and the next one is neutron star this just basically applies heat to all the enemies around and yeah it's just really really helpful so for the arcane we have arcane fury and and molt augmented this is basically so our glaive that we are using as a melee does more damage so we gain a 60% chance or 120% melee damage the weapons for 18 seconds now obviously i don't have this max but you'd be getting 180% still need to maximize all these arcanes as i don't have them max but i'm working on it but basically we gain 120% melee damage just because we are hitting the crit what with the glaive we will be hitting crits next is Mulk augmented this is basically just gives us ability strength so we can increase our damage from our clips and i think it goes up to like 410 to 420 uh, percent increase in damage if i'm correct all these weapons are very good okay you can use literally every single one of these weapons you you don't have to bring the whole load but every single one is just it is just good so let's just get with the Sybris in Carnum form Sybris prime so we have blazing barrel increases base damage by 15 and then on firing we get plus five multi shot stacks 10 times we can get plus 50 percent multi shot we have marksman's hand gives us minus weapon recoil because he likes recoil on a full burst hit plus 20 percent damage so this is the corrosive build this is what i mainly use uh sometimes i do, do use the toxin build but i don't really use it that much i just use the layer to majority of the time so the mods i do have ribbons for these i do have a lot of ribbons um you don't have to use a ribbon you can use something like vital sense instead so the start is we have a critical delay this increases our critical chance we have galvanized chamber for the multi shot and then the extra multi shot we have high voltage this gives us electricity and status chance and then we have serration think just damage and then galvanizes amplitude that gives us extra status chance and gives us more damage when there's more status on the enemy malignant force so our high voltage and turns into corrosive and then violet acceleration for plus 90 percent fire rate now the delay item we have rapid wraith increased fire rate and uh, we have this one that gives us increased reload speed for 12 seconds so we have elemental excess 
for basically gives us minus 10% crit chance plus 20% status chance. The reason why we want that minus critical chance is because then it ties in with this, where there's a 50% chance to deal plus 2000% damage on non critical hits. So you want to have negative crit basically. So, first off, we have Holder Strike for the base damage. We have Accelerated Isotope for the base radiation and also the increased fire rate. Lethal, lethal Torrent for the increased fire rate and multi shot. Galvanized Diffusion so we get increased multi shot. Pistol Peasants for Toxin. Scorch so we have Heat. Auger Packs for damage. Confusion for electricity so we can make corrosive. And then we have Heat as a third element. And then also what is necessary is secondary auto fire. It gives me one overguard for every 100 damage dealt to an enemy's overguard. So basically we're just doing increased damage to enemies who have overguard and we also gain overguard just by hitting one of the enemies overguard shield. Over 100 damage what if you're going late game you're doing 100 damage easily. So the glaive prime build, I have a very basic glaive prime build and there is definitely a better one that I can get. I'm trying to just get this uh, arcane, but this is the very basic glaive build I have. That also was working as well in the content. So we have sacrificial steel, sacrificial pressure for damage and crit chance. Organ shatter for increased crit damage. We have killing blow for the increase for the 120% melee damage on heavy attack, but we're doing heavy attacks. And also you get the plus 60% heavy attack wind up speed we have a gladiator might for the increased crit damage we have volatile quick return what gives us blast what is just sweet it just makes area damage a lot easier and just it makes the actual weapon fun to use and then we also have power throw that increases our 100 percent throw damage then our glaive what is just crit chance crit damage so basically we have then our arcane that we're using is melee exposure. We only have this at level unranked. We basically gain 10% corrosive damage on melee strikes for 25 seconds. Stacks up to 140%. We just also get corrosive on it as well. Because we'll always be casting our abilities. So also for the focus school, we are using Madurai. Uh, this is mainly just because I'm using him for Void Cascade, because obviously the amp damage, um, the 100% amp critical damage for 20 seconds on switching to operator. We also get a physical damage and operator damage increased by 30 percent so we're getting a little bit more extra damage there but it's mainly just because i'm I was using void cascade you can use really anything you want to be honest you can use naramon and focus on melee if you want zanoric for the energy whatever i mean you don't really need zanoric as literally our abilities last for a long time you see here we've got 63 seconds and then we also have 63.5 seconds our abilities just last a long time so you don't really need it yeah so guys this is the build so if you guys did enjoy this make sure you drop a like also subscribe to the channel there's going to be more of these coming out i also do stream on twitch what i'm probably going to be streaming right now so if you want to hop by we're open relics we do sorties we do we do basically whatever i'm doing at the time and we do we also try and do endless void cascades and hit level cap so if you want to join in on that make sure you drop it into the twitch link is in the description down below